so I'm Patrick Bird, and so I work within Tivo within the Discovery Unit. Um, I look after all of our customers and products in EMEA. Um, at Tivo within Discovery, we have three core products which are around uh, search and recommendation, voice, and analytics. And effectively, what we're trying to do is allow our customers to find, watch, and enjoy the content that they really love as quickly as possible. So I think I think three three really good. The first is that it's an evolving solution. So we learn a lot from our customers. So the actual what people ask when they speak to their TV is very important, and that's changed over time. And we've learned a lot. So the types of queries and the, the development of our product has uh, evolved because of the audience interaction. I think secondly, what's going to happen in the future is you know where we talk about natural language understanding, we we consider that the why. So the what is the text that we get from the audio, the why is why do you ask that question. And that's evolving into a more personalized experience. So it's not just about why, it's why now. So it's personalization and it's about context and trying to evolve that into a more interactive solution. And I think the, the third thing is the industry as a whole, and not, not just within entertainment, but the voice industry, is starting to realize that there needs to be some level of cooperation. So uh, Amazon recently launched uh, Interoperability Group, which Tivo is, is a member of, and that is looking to see if there is cooperation that can exist between multiple devices. Maybe it's a wake word for TiVo when you want to work with TV, or maybe it's a wake word for Alexa if you want to order an Uber, but that may be a single device. So I think that is a positive step because there's lots of devices in the home right now and, and, and they need to work together at some level. Now in Europe we're in um, UK, so we've got, we've got English, we've also got German, Italian, Last year we launched Portuguese and just before Christmas we launched Spain, or Spanish in Spain as well. So that's, that's an evolving process and we've got some additional languages coming up this year which is a big challenge for our team. But I think what we've learned is you know, there are certain common rules across all languages and all rollouts. A lot of the technology is very similar. But there's also localization that needs to be taken into account. So within each market, for example, there may be a, an ASR vendor, so the speech-to-text vendor that we partner with. Uh, some are stronger in some territories and some are stronger in other territories. So we, we, we keep neutral on that on that front so that we can work with the best partners. But also the way people interact with the TV is very different using voice um, in Britain versus Italy versus Germany. Th there are cultural differences. So we work with uh, locals, we work with native speakers to make sure that we train our models so that when a normal person picks up a TV or a remote control when the product goes live, how they interact with the solution works out of the box. And I think that, that's a key, it's very important. I think one of the key things is from day one, the solution needs to work to an acceptable level. So you need to do the work beforehand to get to that point. Our perspective, in terms of product perspective, that uh, conversational context in, in terms of understanding around the natural language, understanding why you want this query, why are you asking this query at this time of day on this device at this particular moment. That's really evolving and you know our, we use a lot of machine learning to help drive our tools to do that. But that is I think the next step in terms of where we're going to go to next and, that, and that's all driven by personalization so we've got a big push there.